Hi, I'm Ariana. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So how did you go about researching playing Zeke and portraying him in a way that isn't insulting to people that have that condition? I think uh, in playing Zeke, I made sure to tap into the emotional inside of what agoraphobia really is, rather than just playing the external idea of you of, of someone not being able to just leave a space. Uh, agoraphobia presents itself in so many different ways that it's not always just about necessarily leaving a space. And I think we all have a little piece of it in some way, shape or form. Sometimes it's, I don't drive down that street. Um, I can't leave until this amount of time. I, we all do different things and more, more than anything, it's just making yourself feel safe. It's calming the anxiety. Obviously agoraphobia is a very much, uh, larger version of that anxiety, but we all have a piece of it in some way, shape or form. And so to me, that's how I made sure that I, you know, respected, you know, the, uh, the anxiety and the trauma that is agoraphobia and what comes with it without trying to make, uh, make myself a caricature of what someone is truly, uh, truly experiencing. Yeah, we know this when Z gets back from the hospital that he also immediately wants to go back to his computer and he says, oh, I have to um, help find Lacey. But do you think his computer is also his safe space as well? 100%, 100%, 100%. It's plugging back in to the world that is eyes, ears, you know, sense, all of those senses, uh, Zeke, that's, the, that's it, you know? Um, and then you have to imagine when those computers are not there, when he's not actively within that world, it's just himself. And when we are just by ourselves, that's when we are the most vulnerable. That's when we are the most judgmental. We we really carry a lot with just ourselves. So um, it's very much a safe safe zone and a safe place for Zeke. Um, and he wants to find Lacey. And he knows if he's going to be a part of the uh, solution to find her, this is his way. Yes. Speaking of Zeke and Lacey, what's kind of going on there? Is it a bond? Is it a friendship? Is there something romantic there? Or what do you yourself think? <laughs> it's a situationship. <laughs> um, <laughs> we I all know those. <laughs> I think it's a combination of all of those things. But there definitely, there's definitely a friendship there. There's obviously some sort of a budding romantic thing that might be happening. But you're also talking about two people that are very much young at heart, young in spirit, and very young emotionally. They're still growing and so you have to imagine that it'll take them some time to figure out how to verbalize what it is that they're feeling um and you know they're, they're both very much trying to balance out all of the stuff that we do at, at mostly and associates you know so um if this were a romantic comedy i'd have an answer for you right away you know but in but with us being a drama and and having all of these other storylines in there what it ends up being is a great reflection of where we all where Zeke and Lacey are emotionally that they they can't necessarily say how I feel they say with their eyes you you know you see it lingering in the room it's heavy there in some spaces right and uh and I think we'll have a good time in season two trying to figure out what that is and, uh, and what's there do you think the feelings are mutual I definitely think so yeah. um now the extent of what that means that you, you'd have to see, you know, what Zeke or Lacey actually really feels about it because they may not even know, you know? Um, I don't know if Zeke or Lacey are 100% poised and ready for a full-fledged relationship, but I think what they are ready for is to say, you know what, I like you and I like being around you and, and you are special to me. That is That to me is the sweetness that is Zeke and Lacey. Yeah. Do you think it's possible for them to have a relationship with Zeke's condition? Because who are we to define normal? But do you think it's possible for them to have a relationship? Absolutely. Absolutely. If, if, if anyone uh, would, would get it, it, it would be Lacey. You know, Lacey, would, Lacey understands and respects what Zeke, uh, who Zeke is and exactly what his, uh, his, what his uh, condition brings to the table. Uh, she doesn't, I don't, I don't think, Anyone at m a judges, we don't judge one another. And I think that's a safe place that is mostly in associates. 
there's no judgment. We get to be exactly who we are. Margaret's going to the bus station again tonight to go search for her son. Okay, see you tomorrow. Here's some coffee. You know, that's what we do. Don is angry and he's going to take it out and go express yourself and do what you do. So we, we protect and love one another in a very real way. So yes, I believe that they, they could figure it out. We'll just order in, you know, we'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> which people do anyway. I feel like a lot of people have kind of that home relationship anyway, despite Absolutely. different quote unquote, not to say that isn't a condition, but um, despite what they haven't going on in their life that a lot of people stay at home. So it's not as a way to love someone. Absolutely. Yes. Um, speaking of judgment though, do you think that the team is being a bit harsh on Gabby's actions of keeping Sir captive? I don't think they're being harsh on her at all. I think there's a lot that they're probably not saying because they love her because they care about her. And if they didn't, it would probably be even heavier and, and more harsh um and the reason being she she betrayed everyone you know like yes and, and she tainted the work that we've been doing you know it's um it's realizing that the person that you've spent this amount of time with wasn't forthcoming with you they selfishly weren't forthcoming with you you know and it's that selfishness that that really i think is, is going to make the rest of the team look at gabby in a different light and uh, I think I've said this before, Zeke very much romanticizes how he sees people. And I think he's going to have to see Gabby for who she is, which is a real person, a human being who is flawed and not perfect. And he's going to have to decide, can I still love you the same, you know? Do you think it was the action of keeping Sir captive or was it the lying and manipulating of the team that Zeke is angry about? I think it's a combination of both. Zeke, Zeke was kidnapped, you know, so knowing that she then in turn did that to someone else, that's very hard to grab a hold of and fathom of that you would actually do that to another person. Uh, and then the line to the team and using Sir to solve these cases, that is, oh boy, you know, the work that we do has been healing for everyone across the board. Like, you know, it gives us hope that we too can heal and we're doing the, this good thing. And so now that good thing, you know, there's some eggshells in the batter, you know, it's not, uh, it's not the same. Yeah. Do you think once they find Lacey that Zeke would actually resign, that he's serious about it? I don't think Zeke would have uh, written that letter if, if he wasn't serious, you know, um, it does, does it, does he complete it? Does it, does it happen? I don't know, you know, but in this way, shape, or in, in this sense, that that safety net is is gone. That world of M and A, it has it's gonna look and feel different. If we are gonna move forward, things have to change. It has to change. It's gonna feel different and it feeling different and being different may not be ideal for Zeke. So we'll have to wait and see. Do you think because he does fund this? And he's never really kind of pushed his weight around of like, oh, well, I fund this. Maybe I should call the shots more. Do you think he would kind of pull rank a bit more and not kind of throw his money in the face, but like, hey, mm -hmm. maybe I should have a bit more of a say now because of how you're moving and maybe you're not the best leader for this position. I don't know if he would pull rank because here's the thing. I think Zeke very in, in, in the best version of himself, he has great discernment. And I think he knows that even he himself, if if there was a time for him to be in charge, he would be in charge. Mm -hmm. but, he, but he understands I'm not there. I'm not there. This is not who I am. And I recognize the strengths in all of these different people and they bring something different to the table. Um, and in the least, here's what I can bring to the table and I can be a part of something very special. Um, and honestly, the financial part of this when you look at the big scheme of it, yes, money makes it move and so forth, but it's the actual people that make it work. You know, it's, they're the value. We are the value. The money just happens to be what we use to, to make things happen. So I don't know if he would pull a rank. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't see him pulling a rank unless someone else was truly ready to step in and, and be that person, you know? Um, 
And eventually, hopefully, Zeke does see himself brave enough to, to maybe one day lead the team, you know? Um, and does that mean he's actually, you know, outside on that when that actually happens? I don't know. Um, even now, he he's able to do very, do a lot from his space through, you know, his uh, his different angles and plays of, of how he makes things happen. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Why? What do you? How would you describe Sir and Gabby's relationship? Do you, do you think she has a bit of a Stockholm syndrome? Do you think it? I won't call it romantic, but they definitely have a very unhealthy relationship. How would you kind of describe um, Sir and Gabby's relationship and feelings for each other? I would describe Sir and Lacey, excuse me, Sir and Gabby's relationship like, oh boy. I think they're, I think they're part of the same tree, you know? Um, they're definitely connected, whether they like it or not, they are connected. Um, and Gabby is who she is because of, the choices that some some of the choices that sir made however because of some of the choices that sir made gabby has grown to something different that probably even sir couldn't imagine and i think that becomes his infatuation with her that she's so much more than even he thought you know um and uh, i don't know i don't know if i don't know if i have a right word to, to describe the relationship i'm trying to think um It's, I don't know. <laughs> Dark and sad. <laughs> you know, and I'll say this, to not know exactly how to describe their relationship is the, the darkness of it and the beauty of it. Because you see things there that are so beneficial, and then you see other parts of it that are so dark and dangerous and toxic at the same time. And so I think they themselves are trying to figure out exactly what it is that is here. Uh, it's interesting. And obviously, as as as, uh, as an audience, we love to watch it unfold and and figure out what it is. So yeah, it's it's, uh, it's intriguing. It's good writing. Yes. Speaking of unfolding, we know a little bit about Zeke. He was kidnapped. Um, he has money. He's um, angrophobic. But do you know a bit of a backstory? Have you kind of created more of a backstory? Will we know a bit more of a backstory as it unfold, unfolds? Because we're learning a bit more about Lacey slash Bella. Are we going to learn more? Do you know more? What's going on? <laughs> so I do know, know some things. Uh, at the beginning of season two, before we started, we all sat down with NK and she was able to walk us and talk us through everything from season two leading into season three uh and we got to talk about what we're going to share what we're not going to share so i know some things but i don't know too much and uh i ask the writers sometimes like you know hey i'll i'll say what what if zeke and i'll say something they're like oh that's interesting maybe and i'm like wait wait what does that mean and they're like you want to know and my answer usually is you know what not just yet um because as an actor you don't want to know the end because we're not playing the end hopefully we're doing this show for many more seasons to come mm -hmm. and so i'm very very much uh happy and resolute in the the nuggets that i do get for zeke and i get to just expand on what we have and then the unknown i get to just create a lot of things you know within my head and then they give they give me they give me um little uh, easter eggs though like i read an episode i'm like oh and I'll come out like, hey, does this mean that I can play with some of this in my in my in my mind's eye, you know, in a quiet moment? Can I? And they're like, oh no, you can bring some of that in there. Absolutely. I'm like, oh, okay. And that lets me know at some point I'll get to, you know, play with some of that that is there, you know. Um, one of the favorite things that I got to do, and I spoke to them about this and see someone, I was like, oh man, like what happens if Zeke, you know, what if he's forced out the house. I, and I'm just coming up with random things in my head. Well, here we are at the beginning of 201. Um, Zeke is not at home. And I was like, oh my goodness, I get to take the mask off. I get to take the clothes off, the hair, the jewel. I get to take all of that off and show the audience what Zeke's agoraphobia looks like outside of his safe zone. And that was just fun and interesting and creative to, uh, to, to play with. Yes, it was like, I was worried about him. I'm like, like, this isn't 
the we we can't just spring him out like this would have to be steps in a healthy way physically and mentally so yeah i know exactly what you're talking about but thanks so much for taking time to talk to me i forgot to introduce myself in the beginning i'm ariana nice to meet you um uh, <laughs> i can't wait to talk to you about the future in this show and other projects and congrats and thank you so much for taking time to talk to me thank you so much pleasures all mine thank you for having me and please keep watching we're on 217 right now we are cooking. There's so much good stuff coming your way. Yes, I can't wait. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Awesome. Bye.